Today we're learning about enums. The word enum, that makes no sense to me. What kind of word is enum? I like Eminem. But seriously, if you're having trouble on enums, you have stumbled upon the right video because we are going to walk through together exactly how to use enums and get it working in your program. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Alex. I post a Java video on this channel every single week for you. So if you're new here and you might be interested in seeing that, then please consider subscribing. So let's start getting your enum working by going to file new Java project. I'll call it something like enums are fun. In a lot of videos, I type um, kind of are fun at the end because if you type the exact thing, like if you type enum, that'll screw with the computer. So you don't want to name it enum. Um, I'll call it something a little different, a little variation. And then inside of that, we're going to make a new class and call it let's do enums. Add the main method so we can run our code and we're all set up. I'll make this a little bigger for you. An enum is basically if a class and an array had a baby. It's a list of values that doesn't change, but it's set up like a class and you access it like a class. So refresh around arrays. If you had an array of say strings and you had like levels of a game, um, you would call it like levels and then you would put what's inside. So we have, um, level low, medium, and high. And then to access each of those levels, you would do levels dots or levels of zero, put a static keyword in front of it so you don't have to make an object to access it. One, two, and three, boom, so easy. Just passing in the index and then printing out the elements of the array. So now let's turn this array into this weird enum thing. An enum can be put inside of a class or outside of a class. So let's start with outside of the class. Why not? To make an enum, you type enum. It'll turn purple, and that just tells us that the computer knows what it does. Next, let's name our enum, and we'll do levels just like our array. Now inside of here is where we list our levels. So we've got low, just like you said, Alex, we've got low, medium, and high. Now there are red underlines everywhere. <laughs> Why? This is how you make an enum. Why are there so many red underlines? Let's look at the message and it's just like, dude, what is going on? What are you trying to do? Well, instead of like how levels here is strings and an array has different types, enums do not have types. It's just a list of like labels. And you might be like, well, why would we ever need that? But I'll show you in a second. So instead of doing strings up here in the double quotes, we're gonna type out some labels and see if that fixes things, yeah and they go away. The convention is to always do these in uppercase um, just because it's kind of easier to recognize if it's an enum rather than a variable. Um, you can you can use uh, lowercase if you want to, but it's just good practice to do uppercase so you know that it's not like a variable or something. Now, how do we access these? And if they're not string variables, then like what are they? Well, let's try to print one out and, and see what happens. And also, why would you ever need this? I'm gonna get to that in a second. So together, let's go into our print statement and type levels, because that's the name of our enum up here. And we'll do a dot. And this will bring up high, low, and medium, everything inside of the enum. We'll click one like high, for example, and see what gets printed out. And it's actually the name of the value. Even though it's not a string, it prints out the name. We type the name of our enum, levels L equals levels dot low, or levels dot high. I'll do low. This looks really weird to me, having a lowercase um, enum or class. So convention is to type it up here. And I'm gonna do one level, level, okay. And now we can just type out L, print out L, and now this should be low. 
Cool. Now, why would we use an enum? We use enums for things that do not change. Rather than have an array of strings, low, medium, high, it's cleaner and easier to do with an enum because you don't have to go into the string array and then pass an index and then say if that string is equal to low. It's kind of a lot. So enums are just cleaner. And we can run different code based on different values of the enum. So let's say we have a video game and the user selects a level. And say we took input from the computer, they typed in low, and we're supposed to set the level to low. Well, let's just pretend that L is that level they enter and we wanna set up different levels. So we can throw this inside of a switch case. The switch case is basically a glorified if else uh, set of is, if else statements. And we'll say if it is equal to low, then we'll print out low level break. And the same for high and medium. If L is high or medium, it will print medium. If it's high, we'll print high. We save this and run it. Since L is low, it'll print out low level. You can get rid of this print statement. So that's basically how you use an enum. Let's do another example so that you know exactly what's going on and how to do enums. And now let's do it inside of the class because you can make an enum outside or inside. So let's say we have um, a list that doesn't change. Well, we know that enums are often used and are really good at storing a list of things that doesn't change. So to make an enum, you type enum and then the name. So let's say we have flavors of ice cream. Um, we'll call it flavor. Inside of here, instead of doing like strings and double quotes or any types, we can just write out um, what the flavors are. We could say chocolate. We're doing it in all caps because it helps us keep track and know that it's not a variable. It's a little different. We'll have vanilla and we'll have strawberry. We can access the elements in the enum by creating that enum object. The name is flavor. We're going to name it something like flavor flav is new flavor. Aha, uh -huh, but it's not it's not an object, it's an enum. So we have to just say flavor dot chocolate or flavor dot strawberry or flavor dot vanilla. Let's do vanilla because that's my favorite. Now we can toggle code based on what the flavor is. So last time we used a switch case, now we'll do something like an if statement. We can say if flav is equal to vanilla, we have to do flav.vanilla or flavor.vanilla like this. Each would work, but we'll do flav. If it's that, then we'll print out it's vanilla, and then do the same for the others. Chocolate, chocolate, strawberry, strawberry. Okay, now if we save and run it, it works the exact same way, even though the enum is now inside the class. So again, an enum is basically a list of things that do not change. And they're super good for things like levels, or like sizes. So if your teacher asks you to use an enum and you're like, well, why can't I use something else? The answer is you can, but they just want you to practice this. So just write this, um, write what you need to in here, list them out, and then run different code based on what value of the enum is what. Enum stands for enumerated enumeration. I think. And you can also have methods inside of your enum. So you could have something in here, a method called uh, like get vanilla or something. Get vanilla. And then we can just get the flavor, flavor dot vanilla. So you can have both methods and um, these constants inside of the enum. And then if we ignored everything and ran flav.get vanilla, 
get vanilla as a method now. And we have that printed out. But most of the time for enums, you're just gonna have this little list here and then run code based on what, what it is. So I hope this helped you out with enums in Java. Please leave a like if it helped you. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.